Hello, social media. Hello, everybody. Hey, welcome. Welcome to Lakita T. Sharp's famous, exclusive, inspirational channel. I am so happy that you have decided to join me on today. So I welcome you. Hey, how are you? Well, anyway, check out all of my books over at Amazon.com. Head over to my website for additional inspiration. And if you want me to coach you during this hour, feel free to reach out to me. And if you want to support the ministry, feel free to donate to the channel. Hey, welcome. Hi. Hello. Well, anyway, you guys, um, today's message is God was faithful to you even when you wasn't faithful. You know, <laughs> I just want to say to you, um, you know, just like, you know, you're married and you're being married to someone and they are faithful. I mean, you are faithful, but they are unfaithful. And no matter what they do, you always remain faithful and you are good to them in spite of their unfaithfulness. Well, just like with that situation, God has been married to you for a long time. You know, even before you gave your life to God, God was faithful to you. Even, um, you know, um, God has always been there. He has always been in your, he has always, um, he has always, he has always been in your life. Sorry, a dog just came at the, <laughs> a dog just came after me. Sorry. And, um, anyway. Well, I guess he, as you see him running, the dog just loose running. Okay. Well, anyway, um, okay. So I just wanted to tell you that, you know, he, uh, -huh, he has always, God has always been faithful in your, in your life. And he has always been there, you know, and, um, you know, he has been, matter of fact, God has been loyal. Now that that dog just came chasing after me, you know. And, and on, look, while I'm on this video, the dog just came chasing after me. You see how I had courage? And I'm sitting here like, okay. So I want to say to you that just like a dog and how loyal a dog is to people, you know, it's interesting. The dog just came and I'm talking about God being faithful because dogs are very faithful. They are very faithful to their owners, you know, cats are very faithful to their owners. So God has been very faithful to you. He has been good in your life and he has been good to you all this long time. You know, he deserves, he deserves it, whatever it is. He deserves our time. He deserves our money. You know, he deserves everything. You know, he deserves it. Even though, you know, even in my life, when I have lied about things, you know, on my journey and maybe lied. You know, I love living out of honesty, but there's been sometimes maybe I have been dishonest and God still was blessing me. God still was blessing me through it all. You know, I know God has, you know, people who have been in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out of jail, and God is always delivering them out of jail all the time. God is always faithful in their life. No matter what they do, God is still faithful. We serve an awesome God. We serve a God that is wonderful. I just want you guys to know to the to extent. Check out my book, The Adventures of Rainbow Girl series. You can purchase this book over at Amazon.com. There's seven books to the series. So it's the The Adventures of Rainbow Girl series. So check it out over at Amazon.com. There are seven books to this series and other books. Well, I want to say to you that, you know, God is amazing. You know, you guys, you don't, I mean, you can't go wrong. If you don't have nothing in your life to smile about, you can sit there and smile knowing that God is good. You know, I was trying to share with one of my, um, you know, one of my um, family members that, you know, if you don't have anything to smile about, you can smile that you got a God that is looking out for you, a God that wakes you up in the morning and starts you on your way, a God that is always faithful for you no matter what. He's always there. God is good regardless of what's going on in your life. 
So I'm here to say to you that God is faithful, you guys. And I want you guys to be more grateful. I want you guys to be more grateful, okay? You know, getting a journal and writing down constantly, you know, the practice. I know Oprah Winfrey had started that practice, you know, um, she had spoke about years ago. And it's such a great practice. You know, hello, um, Miss Oprah. Hey. So anyway, um, I just want to say that, you know, it's such a great practice to practice gratitude, you know, to practice gratitude and to be constantly grateful for, you know, everything that God does in your life, you know, so I am here to say to you that, you know, um, you know, God will get you through, you know, no matter what you are going through, no matter what you are dealing with, God is going to get you through. You know, you are going to come out of this thing, no matter what it is, you are going to come out of it. You know, whether it's poverty, you know, whether it's, um, you know, um, sickness, you know, you're having, you're sick, you know, you're having sicknesses in your body, you know, you're lacking energy, you know, God is, um, you know, God is good, you know, and it's time for you to recognize the sovereignty of who he is and who, I mean, God is I mean, he created every hair on your body. He knows every hair on your body. You know, even those hairs. <laughs> he knows every hair on your body. <laughs> you got to laugh, you know. You got to have a good time. You know, God want us to enjoy life. He, he came, you know, so we can live a life of abundance and to enjoy life to the fullest. You know, this, this, is, this is our time. This is your time now. This is your time now that, you know, that God wants to reign in your life. You know, he wants to reign and he wants to reign in your life, darling. You know, and he wants to literally pour. And that means he wants to pour in your life. He wants to pour in your life, you know. And, um, you know, God is about to, he's about to, the, the flood is coming. Whatever it is, you know, the flood is coming. It is coming and it's coming and with the give you confirmation, you know, literally I, I dreamt that uh, I was in a room and it was like literally flooding, like the water was taking over the room, you know. So just to um, share with you, yes, confirmation, the flood is coming. God is a God who elevates. God is a God who, you know, um, who wants to, um, you know, put us in a, a a a better place financially you know in all different kinds of ways you know so um yeah so just know that god is very faithful he is very faithful very very faithful okay and hey so yeah so just know that you guys and um these mosquitoes <laughs> yeah but um you guys just know that you know he's faithful you know so, um, so I want you guys to, you know, keep your head up. Things are going to get better and things are going to progress and it's going to grow in your life. Okay. Yeah. How you doing? Hey. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are, you know, just know that, you know, things are going to work out, you know? Okay. And God is what? He is faithful, faithful, you know, and, um, you know, there's some things that's going to happen for you. You know, there's some things that's going to happen in your life. Some things that, you know, God is going to, you know, he's going to take over some things in your life. He is. He's going to take over. He's like, look, I'm going to be, in, I'm in control of that. I am in control of that. So anyway, I hope that you just don't give up. You never lose your hope. Check out my book um, titled Taking Control of Your Life. You can purchase that over at Amazon.com. It's titled Taking Control of Your Life. You can purchase that book over at Amazon.com. So anyway, I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye. We are the chosen ones. We do right. We live right. We make a lot of mistakes, but we are the chosen we are the chosen ones. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.